made me laugh. I just pissed off about one third to one half of the U.S. Can you say that? I can. Okay. I can. All right. <laughs> um, we really had, I mean, we threw this together like super, super quick. We and did. I, you did. I thought I about, did. We both did. I, we both did. And I was thinking about, well, what the hell could we talk about in the, you know, content heavy section in, again air quotes hold on this deserves four air quotes gaz air quotes <laughs> i like what if, you did there if yeah. anybody if you want to see <laughs> <laughs> guys not just done a single air quote he's done a quadruple quadruple or what's a sex two i don't know what 16 is now anyway you did this 16 did, times you know air what? quotes. If I could lift my feet high enough, <laughs> I would take my shoes and socks off and do them as well. Lovely. Not. Okay, the tech heavy, yeah. heavy, heavy part of the show this week. And because uh, I've been on a couple of trips recently and I'm going on another trip, obviously, uh, in a couple of weeks, I wanted to talk very briefly uh, about the stuff that I travel with. So, uh, actually, I would like to get you know, what when you travel out of town, you and I mean away from the house for more than a day. Yeah. What do What do you take with you? Um. So, uh, lots of charges. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, obviously, I take my watch because that goes with me everywhere. And if I'm going for more than a day, I take the charger for that. I'll take my iPhone. I'll take an iPad. That is pretty much it do you have a laptop at this point no no okay no my my laptop is my ipad and you know what and i we have said this before over the the course of of years and years that the ipad has been out but oh excuse me we are really really not that far away uh both in power and I'd usability love to, i'd love and to be a, i'd love to be able to find interface. it guy I'd love to be able to find it, but I said when the the iPad first came out, I said, "Meet your new MacBook." Yeah, I meet your yeah. new low end MacBook. I wish and I could find. Well, I can't be bothered. I can't note. be bothered to no. go through and listen to it all to find no. um, it. <laughs> if if one of our if one of our listeners would do that, we'd really appreciate it. And I'll give you a Woody. I'll give you a Woody for that because that's above, so above and beyond the call of duty. Um. <laughs> But between power and portability, the fact that you can have a, a decent sized keyboard and that a, a, a mouse or trackpad or some kind of pointing device is now pretty useful uh, and the user interface lends itself, it's still not perfect, but it lends no, itself no. better to multitasking. Yes. And that has been, to me, that's been the problem with the iPad all along. It's almost impossible to multitask in the past. And if you remember back the very last Macworld Expo in 2014, that was, I didn't even take a laptop and I did that on purpose to yes. see if I could yeah. do I remember, I remember everything. that experiment. Yeah. <laughs> to see if I could do everything that I would typically do at the Macworld Expo with an iPad. And I did. I, I was able to do multi-track audio for podcasting. I was able to uh, edit images. I was able to put podcasts together where I was able to put video together. It took me two to three times as long to do it than if I'd had a Mac. And there were times when I sat there in the press room at the Mac World Expo and just said, why am I doing this? Why? Somebody give me a MacBook, you know? And, 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 but I, I stuck to my guns and I did it, and everything worked reasonably well. Well, now fast forward eight years, and with iOS 16, sorry, iPad OS 16, the iPad is much more useful than it's it's more useful than it ever has been. And if you're the kind of person that needs to take a computer with you when you leave your house and you don't want to carry a huge charging brick and a 16-inch or 14-inch MacBook Pro and all of the peripherals that you need, yep. 
iPad Pro or even or even an iPad Air or actually any of them will do you, you not, just if, fine for 90% of what it yeah. is that you probably need one for. Probably 95, if I'm honest. Yeah. So, but that, that's all you take. You take an iPad, you take your phone, you take your watch and all the charges that you need. Yep, yep. I don't take anything else if I'm going for more okay. than a day. Well, I, I haven't got anything else yeah. to take. I take a charging block. I will take well, it. So, I, so if we're stopping over somewhere, I'll take an extension um, and I'll yes, take all those yeah, leads. That's a good idea. And I've, I've got the charging block on there as well. Because so, you never know yeah. what you're going to find in hotels these days. No, no. Most of the hotels that, that Tracy and I have stayed in recently, a lot of them now have USB charging ports, USB-A charging yeah, they're, ports. They're pretty slow chargers, though. Yeah, but I mean, if you're plugging it in before you go to bed, does it matter? Yeah, no, that doesn't. That's true. You know, it's going to be charged when you when you. It's going to be fully charged when you get up in the morning. Um, now, hold on to your hats, Gaz, because oh, I'm going to tell I've you something that's going to shock you. I can't believe that you'd ever tell me anything that's going to shock me. Okay, here it comes. When I travel, I take a lot of crap with me, <laughs> and I bet you take several mics. I do. I do. Dave, <laughs> I went to, actually, I'm wearing the hat for it. I went to the last uh, Mac. Mac stock yeah. that's, that's run by uh, Mike Potter in Woodstock, Illinois. Uh, and if you get a chance to go to Mac stock, people go. It's a great little conference. Um, and not just because I'm there, though, of course. You know, I, I'm that a big helps, draw. That helps, doesn't it? That yeah, helps. it really does. <laughs> Um, the last one that I went to, Dave Ginsburg from In Touch with iOS, f was freaking out over the, the bag that I had and all of the crap that I took with me. And he, he would just look at me and shake his head going, you, you, you know, you're not going to use any of that stuff. Right. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, but I yeah, need it. But, but. <laughs> But, I need it. Yeah, but. Well, uh, I ain't too familiar with it, but uh, I'll try anything once. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what basically happened, I get to Woodstock, Illinois, and I have this huge backpack filled with stuff. And the only time I took it out was in Dave Ginsburg's hotel room to show him all of the stuff and how it all connected. And then it went all back into the backpack again and sat in my hotel room for the rest of the show. But, but, but well, I was ready. Cozy. Yeah, it was so cozy. So <laughs> now when I travel, um, though, like when I went up to Long Island, I did not take a laptop with me. I pretty much just did what you did. It was an iPad, yeah. a phone and a watch. Cause I knew I wasn't going to be doing anything else, but for the Florida trip, because I mean, who knows, I may have a Saturday where I'll call you and say, let's do an impromptu, whatever. Uh, so besides my iPhone and my Apple watch and my iPad pro, I'll also take my, uh, M one 16 inch MacBook pro. That is the fastest computer in this house and sits in a bag because I hardly ever use it. But besides that, I'll also take uh, a Logi webcam, uh, a Rode NT USB mini. Now, sometimes I'll take, I have two of them, but in a case like this, I'll, I'll just take one and all of the stands and adapters that I need for that. And with, with the latest version of the Mac OS, I'm starting to question if I even really need to take the Logi webcam. I think, no. honestly, all I need no. is a stand yep. and my uh, my iPhone. Uh, just before we started to record today, I had both, because right now I'm using my, well, it's my Sony, that I, Sony mirrorless camera that I use as, a, as my webcam. But I also had up, <clears> and we, we did this experiment last week. I also we had did. up my my iPhone 13 set up through continuity and they both look great. 
We did. And, and we, we and, tested it again today and had great yeah. clarity on the fact of what I could see in the back corner of your And with room. some of the stuff that you can do through uh, continuity settings, which is a <clears throat> a thing that you, that you do up in your menu bar, <clears throat> you can have a nice looking, like for people who <laughs> watch this, you'll see that I've got this beautiful bokeh, like blurred effect behind me. Well, Apple with continuity has that set up so that you can have a bokeh effect. Does it look as good as this? Eh, maybe not, but it, it still looks great. Well, and I've, of course, I've just turned on my bokeh effect that you get actually from uh, from Apple's version. So continuity? People, from continuity. So people can can see the difference. And it looks, turn, it looks fine. I'll turn it, I'll turn it off. It go. looks it looks a lot better um cuz I also do the um Mac Voices podcast on yep. Tuesday nights yep. not every week yep. but sometimes. Yep. And a lot of the guys and gals that do that show turn on cuz uh Chuck you do, Joyner you do uses that, Zoom. You do that show when Ch Chuck forgets to change the day, don't you? And yeah, when you, he when he forgets you. to to uh not yeah. include me in the Slack room. <laughs> It's like, ah, <laughs> snuck in again, Chuck. <laughs> but a lot of the people that, that do that show yeah. use the built-in blur effect in Zoom and some of the backgrounds that you can use in Zoom. And quite honestly, it doesn't look that good. You, you've got a lot right. of artifacts yeah. around the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah know, I, don't like, I don't like the Zoom one. The Zoom yeah, it, one it really doesn't look good. But Apple's no. version of that looks really good. The only thing that, there's two things that, that, and I know I'm completely off the topic here. There are two things that Apple <laughs> should Shocker. add, I know, to continuity. Uh, one is a zoom effect. The other is the ability to add backgrounds. And I know that they could do that and it would look pretty good because it's basically the same thing that they're doing right now yeah. with the blur effect that they have built in agreed so yeah. they could they instead of having a blur they could have backgrounds so those are two things i'd like to see them add uh but getting back onto topic hurrah yeah besides the phone the watch the ipad pro and the macbook pro uh, i also will take a bluetooth mouse and uh, of course the logi webcam that i probably won't take with me to florida now that i'm thinking about it the Rode NT USB mini microphone and all of the stands and adapters that I need. Uh, I'll take a multi input charger and I don't can't think of what it is right now. The one that I'm currently using, but it's got two USB A and two USB C ports for charging. And that covers uh, not the MacBook Pro, but it, it'll charge everything else that needs charging that I'm taking with me. Uh, I also take multiple lightning and USB-C cables and specifically a USB-C to USB-A cable for CarPlay in whatever rental car yeah. Yeah. that I'm going to have. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's, that's the stuff that I travel with. And cool. as long as I'm not stupid <laughs> and keep my, the, the tech that I'm going to bring to what I've just talked about, I have a relatively small backpack uh, that I can fit all that stuff into. Yeah, but people have got to realize here, Guy, that yeah. your relatively small backpack on you would be a relatively large backpack on me. <laughs> well, it's it's one of those, what is that company, <laughs> the company that makes um, the, the Swiss army knives? Uh, Victorinox. Yeah, and it's got the little. There, there are two. Can red... I just it, can can we divert here? There are sure. two manufacturers of the Swiss Army knives. There isn't just one. There are officially officially there are two suppliers of the okay. um, uh, Swiss Army knives. You're going to ask me who the second one is, and I can't remember. But anyway. it doesn't matter. But it, it, it's the one that has the the red square with yeah, the white cross in the middle. I think of that's it. the Victorian Ox. I think it's. Vic I think that's the name. People are now screaming and laughing at me because I pronounced it wrong. But they, you know, no, they they scream and laugh at you because you do this podcast with me. That's true, <laughs> and have for twelve, thirteen years. But that's the company that makes the. Uh, I don't have it handy. the The backpack. Well, they, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they that make I use many other things and as well. for backpacks. For most people, I guess that would be a pretty big backpack. But I have got a monster 
backpack that carries not just the iPad and my laptop and a second 15 inch screen that I connect <laughs> to the laptop. Uh, it also carries two small tech bags that I have packed with microphones and uh, stands and, and all kinds of stuff. And it weighs probably 60, 70 pounds by the time everything is crammed into this thing. And that's what I, I take with me. And the, the funny part is watching me go through airport security with one yes. of those things. Yes. Because as soon as it goes, it, it happens, Gaz, every single time. It goes through x-ray, and you can see the bored look on the guy or gal's face that is looking. Because, I mean, they're there for, you know, six to eight hours a day with a, a couple of breaks because they'd go insane otherwise. And then my bag goes through, and the expression on their face totally changes. It's like, Burr? and then you'll see the conveyor belt go backwards with my bag. <laughs> it's like, and then it'll go forward a bit, and then it'll, it'll go, go forward a bit, and, back and, then, a little bit. <laughs> and then they raise their hand. And, Excuse me, I need an official to come and have a look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you know, then the SWAT team shows up, and uh, so cool. It's not good. It's not fun, and. No. I, but I got to say, you get used to the strip search after a while. So <laughs> You get used to the thumbs. <laughs> yeah, the thumb, thumbs. Thumbs. <laughs> One finger. <laughs> now, <laughs> okay, we're going you, off in a really dark okay, direction. Okay, have, have we finished? Can I, I've got to do this now. Okay, yeah, go so, ahead. So this is from uh, Where the Mighty. Okay, Victorian Ox was founded in Switzerland in 1884. Later in the 19th century, the company began supplying knives to the Swiss Army. In 1897, the company patented its knife design, which was later marketed as the original Swiss Army knife. Twelve years later, Victorian Ox adopted the Swiss coat of arms as its logo, uh, which it still uses today. However, between 1908 and 2005, there was one other supplier of knives to the Swiss Army. Wenger was founded in Switzerland after Victorian Knots in 1893. Originally a manufacturer of utensils, the company expanded from spoons and forks into knives to meet the contract for the Swiss Army. The contract was split 50-50 between Wenger and Victorian Knox. Interestingly, the split contract also represented the two sides of Switzerland itself. Wenger was located in a French-speaking area of the country, whereas Victorian Knox was located in a German-speaking area. Ta da Three days later. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing this show. I, do I really, do really do. I love doing it. It's I'm, so cracked me up. I love doing this show. 